Hello, my name is Rusty. I'm excited to be here for our time with God, our devotional that we can study. Because God is so good, and he'll give you something to learn today through his word. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word that you teach us how to walk with you, God. Help me to walk with you. Help all of us to show the world that our walk with you is amazing and you're amazing, Lord. Help us so clearly as you do. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. This verse has a positive and a negative, but that's good. It helps us to understand. It's very interesting. Don't walk after God's idols, false things. Don't walk after them. The scriptures from the Old Testament, and it teaches us and gives us a warning. Let's look at this verse. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 19. And it shall be, if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God and walk after other gods and serve them and worship them, I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish, be punished. Wow. So look at this. If you forget the Lord thy God, that means if you drift away from him, or if you decide to walk away from him and follow the world and idols and serve and worship false gods, God will be upset. He will. And I've seen some people get involved in the world. I've seen that. And they haven't lived. They have an awful life. Because they've walked with the world. God says, do not walk with false gods or idols. We shouldn't push God out. It's very dangerous. People get upset thinking that God is punishing them, but he's already given us instruction. God tells you what will happen if you ignore him or if you leave God. There are many warnings. So please don't do that. Do not decide to walk away from God. It's very, very dangerous. So I pray that the Lord would keep you and me close to him and walking with God. And then you'll have enjoyment. I've known a few people that keep going, even in hard, through hard times, and it's worth it. Because Jesus gave up his son to come to the earth and die on the cross. Was it worth it? Yeah. And it's worth it for us to give up our lives and walk with God. Don't go after false gods in the world. So I pray that the Lord would help us be strong. 2024, 25 and beyond. I don't know what will happen. But as long as it takes, you need to be strong. The world's going to get worse. But you and I... We can keep getting better with God and to love the Lord more and to walk with him eagerly and the world will see you and they'll see that you love God. And I want to impact the world. I want to impact people to be saved. So I pray that the Lord would keep your life shining for him. Matthew chapter 5, 16 says, your light will shine before people and they will praise God because of it. So I pray that you stay strong. Hold on here. Okay. 
it's important for you and me to keep our minds continuously to do the right thing for God. And don't walk up for false gods of the world. Walk with God every day. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we really thank you, Lord, for your love. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to walk with you and not after the things of the world. To only walk with you every day because you're precious and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, God will always be with you, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Bye.